and welcome to day 18 of the July daily vlogs. Well, I'm out in my sewing room. It is early afternoon. I have got my water with ice cubes in and they are rapidly melting. <laughs> hmm. This is my word, it is so hot today. It's around about 36 degrees Celsius here, which is terrible. <laughs> Certainly not enjoying it. Um, I hope everybody's okay and not suffering too much with the heat today. I did have to go out this morning. I went on a little errand with my son and daughter-in-law and it it was warm then. I think we were, we were at about uh, 35 degrees and that was the this morning. And I was sat in a room with no windows open for about 20 minutes, half an hour and it was warm so I was definitely glad to get out and back home <laughs> I ended up with a headache because the heat and that you, you do don't you and basically I just came in and I got the fan on I got several drinks and yeah I just sort of chilled out for a little bit um, and I thought I'll try and do a bit of crochet at least if while I'm sat here cool enough I can do a couple of squares which it seemed to take me for ever to do a couple of squares today because it was so warm and so uncomfortable and I was feeling hot and frazzled. <laughs> ah dear, so I had something to eat and really, do you know what, I've just been nodding off to sleep I think cause, cause, because I'm just tired, a headache and everything. So I perked myself up and got myself another drink of water. But I must admit, I am quite thirsty today, so I am going to be drinking a lot of water and not venturing far from the bathroom, I don't think. Mm. Oh. Well, plans for today. Not a lot of plans for today, I'm afraid. Like I said, I was doing a bit of crochet. I've been listening to my book, my Knitting Vampires book, and it's really, really good, and I, I love listening to it. But like I said, today I was nodding off a little bit and I, <laughs> I kept missing bits. <laughs> so the plan is two crochet squares today. Um, I want to make some pickles, some pickled veg, because I've got some veggies, extra veg that I bought at the weekend. So I want to get some of them in jars today. So there's no cooking involved in that. These are just fridge pickles. So I'm just going to fill up a few jars, which I'm not sure when I'm going to do these yet. I need to pick a, a cool moment in the kitchen. And I'd also like to try and finish off the words on there, which if I can remember what they are, are they honey, honey base. So that, that's it. So I am, I'm, like I said, I'm nearly there. Just got to do that a little bit and then hopefully I can get this mounted up and maybe get a, a layered piece I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet I need to sort of grab some fabrics out but that'll give me something to, to do a little bit later on and I've got another one of my mason jars now I haven't got any paint still for this unless I can find a Dell stash of paints and find find one or I might try and cover it with a little bit of fabric. I'm not sure how I'll get on with the the curves, but I can try, can't I, and see what happens. Because I'll still put the string around the top. I think that looked nice. And then I can uh, yeah, hopefully get that layered up. I mean, I'm not going to show you the whole process because you've, you've seen me do the jar already, the painted version. But I can, if I do do it with fabric, I can just explain how I do it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to having a go at that. Uh, so yes, that's probably about it for now. So uh, I hope everybody has a good day. I hope you stay cool and I will catch you all a little bit later on. And I'm pleased to say I got my MDF shape covered with fabric. This is probably the first time I've actually had a success with this. and I'm really, really pleased with it. What I did, I'll show you in a minute. It is just drying there behind me. What I did was I cut a piece of fabric, obviously bigger than my shape, and I, w I put a straight edge across the top there because I don't need it going right to the top because I put string across there and I covered this with, um, oh, what's it called? 
it's mod mod podge but it's for fabric it's the blue and white bottle and then i stuck the fabric on top of it made sure it was all nice and flat and there's no wrinkles in it i just let it sort of dry for a few minutes then i turned it over and i cut my fabric more to the shape around the shape and then i've sort of snipped in at the corner pieces so i can fold it round and just glued it then I put some glue on the top here and I wrapped the string around it and I covered it in glue. And it worked and it is drying and I will pick it up very, very carefully and show you. So that is the front, which I think looks really nice because it's sort of honeycomby, but the colours actually go better uh, of the fabric with the cross stitch because the, the other fabric I've got has got beads on. It's really nice, but it's quite bright, and it didn't look quite right with the colouring of my threads. So I think that looks okay. Right, I'll turn it around so you can see the back. It's a little bit messy, but that's the back, and you can see I've sort of snipped the fabric down here, a couple there, a couple there, so it just overlaps better. And it's all just pulled in really, really well. So I think I am definitely going to use more fabric. So you'll have to stay tuned and watch the next step a little bit later on because I'm going to leave this to dry now and I'm going to go and have a go at the cross stitch and get that honeybee finished off. And I'm back in my sewing room. It's um, a bit cooler in, in here than in the house, but it's starting to feel warm to me. <laughs> Mind you, it doesn't help, I suppose. I've only had the glue gun on while I've been working, but I've had a nice time. I managed to get my cross stitch finished. I finished off the word honeybee. So I've been busy crafting away and I finished it. Oops, there goes everything. So that is my mason jar for today. So that is three finished objects in two days. That's not bad. <laughs> that's good for me actually but yeah I hope you can see it okay I've really really enjoyed doing this so but I've got to be good and try and finish off some other projects so I'm going to continue working on my crochet blanket and I suppose I'll get back on with my sew sew by row by Laurie Holt so I've only got a couple more sort of rows to do on that, I think, and then it can be finished. So, yes, I suppose that's the next thing for me. Oh, I think I need another cold glass of water. <laughs> I've got to go get a drink. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and that feels a bit better now. <laughs> it's always nice to have a cool drink, isn't it, when it's warm? Well, if you've been following me, you'll know Adele was going to the Bake Off show on Sunday. Well, it was quite warm yesterday and luckily they were under a marquee. I think all the sides were open, so they were okay and the stalls were in so they didn't get any sun, which was good because I think some of the people, um, the sun was on them during the day, so it was uh, probably a bit unpleasant for them trading. But they did say that it wasn't exactly busy. I'm a surprise for Bakewell because that is a touristy town little place and it's beautiful there but the cost to get into the show was 12 pound per adult and 12 pound uh, for children over 14 i think it was so that's going to make it a bit of an expensive day out and i think that's probably what's put people off maybe apart from the weather which is a shame and there were no family tickets neither so Yes, a bit of an expensive day. Anyhow, she didn't do too bad, but she bought me a little present back. And oh, I've got a notification on my phone again. Honestly, it keeps popping up. And the stand that she went to, I don't know if it was next door to her or further on in the further on down the marquee, but it's called Hog Norton. And they are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and they sell. Gin, gin liqueurs, I suppose you call them. So what she got me, I've got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six bottles of things here to show you, so it's very exciting. Uh, the first one, it's a blackberry fruit liqueur, 
and it's 30% 30% ball 50 ml so that's oops that's a little bottle I can't open any of these to smell them because you know they've got to be used up within a certain amount of time so it does say that every Hog Norton bottle is filled with the freshest fruit pressed to ensure we bottle the freshest and perfect flavour liqueur. So that sounds good. So that, this is a blackberry. That's going to be interesting. Um, and the next one is a mixed berries one. Uh, do you know, all these things are going to keep me going all year. <laughs> I don't think I'll have to buy any more. <laughs> Uh, drink um, and this one is raspberry she certainly knows what sort of flavors I like which is nice and the last one is strawberry that looks quite pale for strawberry I was quite surprised I expected it to be darker but yeah so I'm really looking forward to trying that one definitely and the raspberry because I've got some um, frozen raspberries in the freezer as well and look would have it I have got that, that big bottle of uh, plain gin as well which is lucky so the next thing she's got me now this isn't gin this is a homemade strawberry vinegar so you can put it on your salads. So that sounds really nice. I've often wondered about these um, flavoured vinegars uh, and maybe about making some. So it would be nice to actually try one and then I might do some myself next year with my strawberries. So I'm looking forward to tasting that. And the next one, oh, this is what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> this is the homemade rhubarb syrup. So I could put that in probably anything really and I could put that in plain vodka instead of me making um, gin having the big bottle stood on the worktop with the rhubarb in soaking for like four, four plus weeks so that's going to be interesting to try so I'm looking forward to that because I can make my own rhubarb syrup I have plenty of rhubarb and it will store in smaller bottles so that would be good so that's something I might try. So I'm looking forward to that. I mean, I might still do the rhubarb gin in in the big bottle. Well, in the bottles that I do for gifts. There's only one person I give it to. So <laughs> yeah. So so I will share with you when I try these, so you you know what they're like. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And now I'm going to get myself off inside the house, and I'm going to go and do my pickled veg I might only make about four jars because I, I think they only last a few well a few weeks they probably last us a month I should think a jar a week so that might do us so I'm looking forward to that and I will take you along with me I'm not going to show you the full process but I'll just show you sort of snippets of it what I'm putting in sort of what spices I'm using things like that so yeah see you in a bit And it's been extreme, extremely hot this evening. Oh goodness me! I was doing the pickles, so I've just got a bit of I've got a little bottle of cold water here. <laughs> it's just dribbled, um, and I didn't realise this one has a hot brine on it. <laughs> so I've just had to have the the gas ring on for a bit to uh, warm the brine up with the pickling spices. It all smells very nice in the kitchen. All sort of vinegar and pickling spices but it made me sneeze <laughs> i just had a sneezing bout because of the pickle but i've got three jars of um well they are what are they called refrigerator pickles just, just general garden veg you know and i did two jars of gherkins 
because I like gherkins, Kevin likes gherkins, so I'm going to leave them in the fridge to, I suppose, mature, give them maybe two weeks and then we'll start and have them. So I hope they taste nice because I hope it's worth <laughs> all this, oh my word. <clears throat> It's still hot outside here and it's, it's oh gosh, it's really uncomfortable. The, the poor cats are just, are just flaked everywhere. <clears throat> They're not coping with this very well. They've had a, a wipe down with um, like a cool flannel and there's plenty of water dotted around downstairs for them, but no, they're just <laughs> flopped and asleep. Mm. Well, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, to be honest. Um, if it's hotter here today than what it has been, if, no, if it's hotter tomorrow than what it has been here today, I might not get any vlogging done. I don't know, because it's been a bit of a struggle today, because it's been so warm. I don't, you just don't want to do anything. Uh, I have got to go down to the post office in the morning. I've got one or two orders to pack and post, so I think I'm going to try and do that first thing because our post office opens at half past eight now I might not make it down there for half eight at the post office but I'm going to try and then at least I can get back home before the temperature goes up and then I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow <laughs> I might just sit and do a bit of crochet maybe even try and get on with the cross stitch but we'll see <laughs> anyhow I'm going to round this vlog off now, I think, because like I said, I want to go and have a shower and maybe probably go to bed, I think. <sighs> cool off a little bit. And thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody's okay with all this heat. And I hope you're keeping well hydrated. Because I don't know how much water I've drunk today, but it's loads. And take care. I hope you have a good evening. And hopefully I will see you t tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.